More than two weeks after floods swamped Pakistan, water was still rising today in a southern town called Jacobabad, and these efforts to divert it weren't making a difference. Officials say 20 million people and a fifth of the country have been affected by this disaster. Where there's shelter, there's poor sanitation, and concern now that cholera will spread. And a cruel irony in all this water is there's so little that's safe to drink. The UN Secretary General called his tour of the country heart-wrenching and called on the world to help. So many millions are in immediate need of help, the world's help. The most help so far has come from America, which has pledged more than $70 million in aid and provided a fleet of military helicopters to deliver it. American troops have helped move more than 4,000 people and more than 300,000 pounds of supplies. With even the best intentioned aid efforts struggling, as this video from Save the Children shows, in Pakistan's rugged terrain, the U.S. sees an opportunity to project expertise and goodwill, boosting America's image on a humanitarian mission with a strategic motive. So it becomes very important for the Pakistani government and the U.S. government tied to the Pakistani government to get in there with relief, with helicopters, visibly so. Along with lives to be saved in Pakistan, there are hearts and minds to be won. Richard Roth, CBS News, London.